very close to Fiat Chrysler's U.S. headquarters. Storage stacks are burning at U.S. Ferrothane Corporation on High Meadow Circle. Here's a map of the location, and that's video of that massive, massive fire. This is just east of 75 in University. A stunning spectacle in the sky. It can be seen for miles and miles. Drivers are actually pulling over on I-75 to get a closer look. We send you now to Chopper 7. This is a live look. Thankfully, those flames seem to be extinguished, but there is a whole lot of damage and a whole lot of smoke. We want to go live now on the ground to 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig. Kim, what have you learned about this? And Maria, I'm telling you, I have never seen black smoke so thick, and I've never seen it from so far away. We could see it in Southfield, but I'm sure people could see it probably from all the way in downtown Detroit. Right now, we're joined by Lieutenant Ryan Gagnon from the Auburn Hills Police Department. And, sir, firefighters have done a remarkable job compared to what this was when it first started. Yeah, they certainly have. I mean, flames were shooting 30, 40 feet in the air. It was a large area of uh, plastic containers that caught fire behind U.S. Ferrothane all contained outside. Uh, we're thankful that there's nobody injured at this point. There's no damage sustained to the building. The building's been evacuated, but uh, like I said, we're fortunate the wind was in our direction blowing to the southeast and uh, they're gonna be putting the fire out here shortly. And so fortunate that this happened. This started, this fire started outside in what's essentially uh, an outdoor storage area. And tell us about that outdoor storage area. We understand there are plastic containers, plastic pallets, and some cardboard in that area and where the fire may have started. Yeah, from what we understand right now is that a lot of the uh, plastic uh, containers that are stackable uh, more than likely stack 16 to 20 feet in the air. A lot of those contain cardboard. Uh, at some point in time, a fire started. That's something that we're going to be investigating along with the fire department to determine the cause of the fire. But that's that's our understanding right now of how it started. And just remarkable, in just a little bit over an hour and a half, this is under more than under control. We, we do see some hot spots there in the area there. And uh, talk about the potential hazards in the air. I know a lot of people are going to be concerned about that. Yeah, we're thankful there's no hazardous materials contained or stored outside that caught fire. Obviously, plastic is not healthy to breathe in, but that's all that. That's why it took so long for this fire to be extinguished. Is that these stackable plastic containers were on fire along with the cardboard? But that's what. Uh, that's the smoke you saw. The black smoke was the plastic burning. Okay. Lieutenant Ryan Gagnon from the Auburn Hills Police Department, thank you so much for joining us. But again, no injuries, thankfully we understand. And the building of U.S. Ferrothane, the corporation, the plastic fabrication company, did, was not uh, involved in this fire. The, the, the storage area is just to the south of their building. Their workers, they're out of that building. The building that they're in was, was evacuated, along with some buildings again to the south of here. But again, uh, just a remarkable job by the firefighters from not only the Auburn Hills, we understand Troy and Rochester Hills were also out here and Waterford also helping to fight this fire. Back to you. I have no doubt all hands were on deck for this, Kim, and just nothing short of a miracle that no one was injured, no damage there in Auburn Hills. Thank you for that live report. We do